Aaron Miles, a respected judge, was driving home late one evening after a successful community fundraiser. The night was peaceful, and Aaron reflected on his life, his family, and his career with a deep sense of contentment. As he loosened his tie and prepared to enjoy the quiet drive, his peaceful moment was shattered by the flashing red and blue lights of a police car. A familiar knot of anxiety tightened in his chest. He wasn't speeding, and his car was in perfect condition. There was no reason for him to be stopped, yet here he was. Judge Aaron had been through countless traffic stops in his life, especially as a black man. He had learned to remain calm, keep his hands visible, and comply with police demands. After all, he had done nothing wrong. Tonight would be no different, or so he thought. As the officer approached his car, Aaron could feel the tension in the air. The officer, Mike Reynolds, was tall, broad-shouldered, and wore a scowl that made it clear he had already made up his mind about Aaron. Without exchanging pleasantries, Reynolds demanded Aaron's license and registration. Calmly, Aaron handed over his documents, including his judicial ID, confident that this would clear up any misunderstandings. However, Reynolds was unconvinced. Despite Aaron's calm explanations and the legitimacy of his judicial identification, the officer's disbelief only grew. You don't look like a judge, Reynolds sneered, his tone dripping with contempt. Aaron had encountered skepticism before, but never like this. The officer's disbelief seemed rooted in something deeper, something far more troubling. Despite Aaron's compliance and professionalism, the situation escalated quickly. Officer Reynolds ordered Aaron out of the car and began searching it, despite no reasonable cause. The officer's suspicion was not about legality, it was about power, control, and deep-seated prejudice. To Reynolds, Aaron was just another black man in an expensive car at night. Nothing more. As Aaron stood by his car, being subjected to unnecessary questioning, a small crowd gathered. People began filming the incident on their phones, sensing that this wasn't a routine stop. The murmurs grew louder, and Aaron could feel the weight of their eyes on him. He had fought for justice his entire career, but tonight, he was the one being judged unjustly. The situation took a shocking turn when Officer Reynolds pulled out a pair of handcuffs. Aaron, stunned, asked, What's the charge? Reynolds coldly replied, Failure to comply and providing false identification. Aaron's frustration turned into disbelief. He had given his real name, his real ID, he had complied fully. But Reynolds had already made up his mind. The officer roughly handcuffed Aaron, his dignity stripped away in front of the growing crowd. The onlooker shouted in protest, He's a judge, he's not a criminal. But their voices fell on deaf ears. Reynolds led Aaron to the police cruiser, ignoring the crowd's outcry, and placed him in the back seat. Inside the police station, Aaron sat silently, the weight of his arrest heavy on his shoulders. Officers around him whispered in disbelief, recognizing who he was. But Aaron, though shaken, knew this was about something much larger than himself. His arrest wasn't just a mistake. It was a glaring example of the systemic injustice that plagued black Americans daily. After a few hours, Chief Harris, the head of the police department, arrived. He was mortified to discover that one of his officers had arrested a respected judge based on prejudice. Harris immediately placed Officer Reynolds on leave, pending an investigation, but the damage was already done. Aaron was released, but he wasn't satisfied with just walking away quietly. He knew this incident was bigger than his personal injustice. It was about every black man, woman, and child who had faced racial profiling, abuse, or wrongful arrest because of the color of their skin. Aaron decided to use his platform and voice to demand real change. The arrest sparked outrage in the community, and video footage of the incident went viral. Public protests erupted, calling for police reform and an end to racial profiling. Aaron, now thrust into the national spotlight, became a symbol of the fight against systemic racism. He spoke at rallies, led discussions with lawmakers, and fought for reforms that would hold law enforcement accountable for their actions. What began as a routine traffic stop had turned into a movement. Aaron's story became a catalyst for change, not just in his community, but across the nation. His wrongful arrest opened the eyes of many to the deep-rooted issues within the justice system, and the push for reform grew stronger with each passing day. Aaron knew the fight for justice wasn't going to be easy or quick. 
But he was ready to stand at the forefront of this movement, determined to ensure that what happened to him, and to so many others, would not be forgotten or ignored. The world had watched as a racist cop wrongfully arrested a black judge. Now the world would watch as Aaron Miles fought for justice, equality, and real change.